to another day of the Public Speaking Challenge in Year 4. Today, we are going to research your chosen topic, the one that you picked in the lesson yesterday. So I'll show you the learning intentions. We have a 30-minute lesson today. We're learning to research and record information about the topic that you've chosen. And we're going to find interesting information from a variety of sources. That means lots of different places so you can get a lot of great information for your speech. Now, before we go any further, the first step is to write the topic you've chosen here. That's the one that you put in the video yesterday. And then write down some things you already know about the topic. After you've done that, we will be having a look at how to record interesting facts. Now, I've skipped ahead to slide five so that I can show you what you'll be doing today. And then I'm going to tell you how to do it well. So today, you're going to read books and articles, websites that deal with your topic. And you're going to use what you learn to create a list of interesting things about your topic. And I would say in 20 minutes, that's the amount of time you'll spend researching today, you should find at least four interesting things to write down. But I've actually added a second page here because the more you write down, the easier it's going to be when you come to start writing your speech later in the week and into next week. If you choose to write down some really brief bits of information, when you try to write your speech, you're going to find it really tricky. But if you choose to include lots of interesting information and even record some vocabulary, that's some specific words related to your topic, you will find it a lot easier to write an interesting speech later. So these two pages are for recording interesting facts and vocabulary related to your topic. And here are some places that you might find that interesting information. Epic, use Epic. It is a fantastic place for information books. And there are also some fiction things that you might find helpful on there as well. National Geographic has some different information about topics. How Stuff Works also has some interesting information. And you can just use Google as well. But I would highly recommend Epic. Search in the topic bar at the top. See if you can find some interesting things about your topic. Now, I wanted to quickly show you why we're going to try and add so many bits of information from our research today. You might recognize this rubric from last year. It's the one that teachers use when we're not doing remote learning, but teachers use this to mark the public speaking entries. And I've just selected this part here about content and vocabulary. Content is the thing, the information in your speech, and vocabulary are the words you use to make it interesting. Now, have a look across the top. These are the different grades that we award for each of these items. Now, if you're interested in getting a C or a B or an even an A, you'll need to know what you need to do well to be able to achieve that. And a lot of that comes back to how well you research and plan. I just wanted to highlight a few key things for you to notice. Now, down here, it says here content copied or content not original. So if you're just copying and pasting things from Google into your speech, you're not going to do very well in the content section. So here, content original means that you've thought of it and you're putting the ideas in your own words. Here a good balance between fact, opinion, and humor. So that means that when you're collecting your interesting information, it's important to get facts, but it's also important to be forming your opinion while you do that, and to maybe even be thinking of some ways that you could make it humorous or funny for the listener. Here it says detailed and interesting, or sufficient detail, that means enough detail. You're only going to get a speech that's detailed and interesting by doing great research. Down here in the B section, we've got includes a broader range of vocabulary. That means that you're using lots of interesting words specifically related to the topic that you've chosen. That's why here I've done on the second page a space for you to write down any words that are related to the topic that you've chosen. So have a look over this today and think about if I'd like to do well, if I'd like to get a C, I'm going to need to have content that's interesting, that addresses the topic I've chosen. It's going to need to be original. 
I'm going to need to have some vocabulary related to the topic that I'm cho I've chosen, and I'm going to have to keep the audience interested in my speech. If you'd like to do better than that, you can see how to get a B, how to get an A. Remember, that's not in this seesaw task. This all relates to the final product, but it's worth knowing while you're planning. After you've done your research, then you will need to record the code word that you'll find in this video. And know that we will be having a look at researching an interesting fact over two different days. So today, record as many as you can, and then I'll help you refine that on Thursday. All right, good luck with all your research for your topic, and we look forward to seeing what you find.